Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about using animations in PowerPoint presentations. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. What is not true about animations? Option A. Animations help make a PowerPoint presentation more dynamic. Option B. Animations simplify the content. Option C. Animations help to emphasize points. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option B. Animations make the content and message clearer, not simpler. Question number two. Which one is not a type of animation offered on PowerPoint? Option A, emphasis animations. Option B, entrance animations. Option C, ephemeral animations. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. The four animations offered on PowerPoint are entrance animations, exit animations, emphasis animations, and motion path animations. Question number three. What is the animation pane button? Option A. It is a button that displays a list of all the animations applied to the slides. Option B. It is a button that serves to include music into the slide. Option C. It is a technique to create an animation. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. The animation pane button displays a list of all the animations applied to the slides and permit to customize the animation style. Question number four. Which functions connected to animations are not offered by PowerPoint? Option A, rename items. Option B, adjust the animation timing and speed. Option C, incorporate animation from a protected document. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is C. PowerPoint offers further options to customize the animation, but it is not possible to insert protected materials. Question number five. Why is it important to use the 80-20th rule when talking about animations and PPT? Option A. To assure that 20% of the contents is done with animations and 80% with text. Option B. The 80-20th rule is not used to insert animations within a PPT presentation. Option C. To understand what part of the presentation is the most important to add animation. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Take a look at each slide and decide what your audience should focus on. An easy to remember guideline is the 80-20 rule. What 20% of the content in your presentation is the most important? That's the content that might be worthwhile for you to add animation to. Congratulations. This is the end of the quiz about animation used in PowerPoint presentations. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach Project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.eu.
All the content of the Video Teach project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.